Hello everybody, this is Thera. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Who wants sticks? Who wants sticks? Where are all my Fletchers at? Um, you know, I didn't realize this, and I should have realized that, that when you walk up, and holding a thing in your hand, and you find a villager who's looking to buy that thing in your hand, they hold up, uh, uh they hold up emeralds. So you can see, yeah, I want to trade emeralds for that thing in your hand. Okay. There are, there are Fletchers here that will buy sticks. I think the sun is starting to come go down. I think that's maybe what the problem is. So we will probably have to go to sleep here. Um, why am I trying to get emeralds? Uh, I will show you in a sec. Hey, who wants sticks? Oh, you want sticks? Hi. See, he's holding an emerald. Now he's locked. No, he's not locked up. Give me emeralds, please. Give me emeralds, please. Thank you. Very nice. Just a few more. And I'll have enough. Thank you. So I have, you know, a stack and a half of emeralds here. I came over with a few more, but... Oops, hey, pardon me. So, uh, Bart makes things has been trapping villagers. Librarians in particular in mine carts and sticking them down here. And then she added another house. Hi, Dougie. I put a little, she had blocks here. I put a little thing here so you can squat under. And, hello, one of these guys has a mending book. It's not super cheap, but hey, I'll take, I'll take, uh, I'll, sp I'll chop down more trees. Okay, so that's, that's all, that's all I get out of that run. So, three more mending books. Ah, that's great. Mending, I've been missing mending. I've been worrying about repairing tools and, and not using them. And uh, so this is great. Now I can actually build up like the perfect set of tools and armor. And we can put mending on. This guy has, woo, efficiency three, unbreaking three pickaxe. Um, I don't have... Obviously, efficiency five would be nice, but it's unbreaking. Unbreaking three. That's that's kind of the tricky one right now. So, he was locked up for the longest time. But hey, ah, stop it. Um, how much does he want for this? He wants 31. So, not super cheap. I don't have him. Okay, let's go back home. And we could start building up the tools a little bit. But there's one other thing I want to show you. Whew, I have to improve my little way to get down there, but slime farm, kind of. A very slow slime farm, but a slime farm nonetheless. I am now positive that this is a slime chunk, and I am now about 90-some percent confident that this is a slime chunk, and I think, and this is crazy, and it's super, super fortunate, but I think this is a slime chunk. I think I have three slime chunks back to back. They're not orthogonal or whatever you want to call it, but they're they're diagonal. But that means that I could build out some platforms and I could have a waiting, like a AFK spot that's up over here somewhere and just wait. And then when a slime spawns, go kill it. Uh, and then start to build it into a, a more more regular slime farm with uh, iron golems or something to, to get them in. So I managed to collect a couple stacks of slime balls now. Hello. Why am I not hitting you? Did I hit him there? Am I just being bad? This is where having flame on your arrows is kind of nice. Because you can see it. he's up high above me. So it might be just I'm like. 
oh. And it may not really matter because I'm not going to. I think I kind of hit him there. He jumped. There we go. Thank you. So obviously still some dark spots. And we had a big stream of water coming down here. And I went in and captured it. It's up there. Um, I climbed up. That was a little dangerous because there's some dark spots up there. But it was coming down and flooding the slime chunk. And that was not acceptable. So you can see I've got water there. I just built a little tray around it to capture it. Um, so the slime chunk here goes out, right? This is, this is it here. So it goes over this way and I need to dig out this little chunk and I don't know how I need to, they only need three air blocks to, to spawn the giant spawn, the slime. So I don't need to like dig out all the way up, but there's some dark spots up there and some beasties were spawning. So I will eventually want to go light that up. So anyway, this works pretty well. I, I was coming up over here and I had a little perch up here so that I was an appropriate distance away from this chunk. Oh, look, there's a slime. See, <laughs> it's slow, uh, but they do spawn. And hello, Mr. Slime. Give me your slime balls. Okay, so... The big ones are nice because then they split into more medium slimes and then the medium slimes with fortune on your sword or looting on your sword, you can get a lot. That was 12 slime balls. Not too bad. So anyway, that this is exciting. So let's go take care of, let's go, yeah, let's go take care of some other important stuff. And I need to adjust the entrance into here because I walk down my little mine shaft there and then I go up and then I go down and it's just, it's a pain in the butt. And I think this is roughly at the level I want. So I should just dig a tunnel into where the slime farm is there. But let me go grab some stuff and I'll be right back with you. Hello. Okay. So I've got an anvil partially used and I've got books and I've got stuff so here's my silk touch pick um, it's called silky three but he's uh, efficiency five I'm breaking three silk touch we can now add mending and it's only gonna cost us three and I can rename it um, I don't know what to rename it I can rename it later Ooh, now I've got a silk touch, uh, silk touch pick and it's a little damaged. So let's go stick it over here and go kill us some skeletons and watch this. So this guy is, he's at 583 and now he's at 657. Awesome. Okay. Somebody's been using this here, um, which is cool. I'm glad. I could grab all these. Oh, that's interesting. So I could grab these enchanted things. Don't disenchant my shield. But I can grab these enchanted things. There's a bunch of bows that have enchantments on them. And um, disenchant them. And that'll get me XP, right? So the... He's now at 657. And if I go and disenchant this, and disenchant this, and disenchant this, disenchant this, disenchant this, and disenchant this. Um, we're now at 789. We're half repaired. That's awesome. Okay. Now, uh, because I don't need all these bows, but I can, if I do that, they all get to 
be uh, I can build them back up to full and then they could be used in dispensers. Okay. And I have to remember where I put everything. But I've got like oh see those are all completely completely repaired bows. Which is nice. Uh, whoa. Yeah, I don't uh not entirely sure what to do about all this because I've got stuff here obviously I don't uh I don't need. I think somebody has been using the XP farm and helping sort stuff out. Which is nice. Hello. So here we are, 789. And now 967. Cool. So I can do that and then I can start uh, putting, I've got several mending books and I've got several things to put mending on. These are not my forever armor, but getting mending on them, I think will help. Um, cool. So I will, I will continue to grind on this a little bit. And in the meantime, um, it's been a little while. I, I'm seriously behind in, uh, in releasing videos because I've been out of town. So I'm behind on, uh, recording. I haven't been on the server in a little while. Went to Minneapolis to meet with the doctor who's doing a study on visceral fat. And so I wanted to get scanned and see how much visceral fat I have, which, spoiler alert, is a fair amount. Um, and I have been losing weight uh, pretty dramatically. I'm down about 75 pounds over the last two years. Uh, but there's still work to go. There's still ways, a ways to go, which is fine. And so the doctor gave me some sort of suggestions and some guidelines on further refinement of my diet and exercise routine. And uh, I'll go back to get rescanned at some point, at some point in the future. It's almost repaired. It's almost repaired. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, so that's what I've been working on. And so I've been kind of out of town and working on my RPM challenge record, which uh, I will do another video on. Maybe I'll record that tomorrow, if not, certainly Monday, uh, <clears throat> which is relative to you because you won't see it for a little while. But RPM challenge record is done. And I took the the stuff that I that I kind of showed the recording and that was the entirety of what i used and i created two complete records two complete album length pieces oops out of just that one recording which was kind of exciting um a little a little weird but um and it feels like cheating, but I don't think it is. Uh, and I'm actually really happy with it. So we will kind of, um, I'll, I can record a little bit showing what I did there. And in case you're interested in seeing that, uh, the, the album, the records are on my Bandcamp, which is bangspot.bandcamp.com. I'll put a link to that in the in the video description. Um, and so it's there. You can go listen to the whole thing. Uh, it's set up as a pay what you want if you'd like to actually support me and, and purchase the album. And like in the past, uh, I will be donating uh, profits from the record. I'll be donating to the National MS Society. So I'll be announcing that 
soon, but basically, um, if you if you buy the album and you say don't and you basically say decide oh I'm gonna pay five dollars for it or twenty dollars or a hundred dollars or whatever you can consider that essentially to be a donation on my behalf to the National MS Society. So I will take that money and then turn around and donate it directly to them. So that is uh a way I'm trying to encourage people to donate uh, to my MS uh, Society fundraiser. Okay, so the one down. Let's do this. Six levels. I still have plenty of levels. So show me the money. Ooh, a little more expensive. That's okay. Because I only need to do this once. In theory, I should have a good backup set of everything. So he's already not in too bad. 9.45. So I've been very careful with this guy. Now 10.35. Cool. So I have a source of XP. I have some mending books. I have tools and armor that need to have mending. And I will I'll be working on that. Um, but I'm back from Minneapolis. I finished the RPM challenge and I taken care of a couple other things that I've been working on. So I now should be able to, to get back and do some more streaming and recording. But I think we'll leave it there for now. This is I'm already gone a little longer than I really expected to. So uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. And the next time I need to start working on the, the Mushroom Island. I have ideas and plans there, but I want to go out there and do some exploring. And then we need, seriously, to work out um, a better nether fortress solution. Because still no nether ward. So there's no brewing going on. There's no potions yet on the server. Which is frustrating. But, but we'll get that sorted out. And uh, we'll... I'll show you some of that, and um, I have uh, plans. I dug a tunnel deep in the nether to get out to the Mushroom Island, so I might just take, build a little, uh, you know, drop down from up there where I am in the nether uh, to see if there that that portion of the nether is any better. May not be. It might be. It might be completely horrible, but we will have to find out. So, anyway, that is it for now. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. All right. Bye.